three tips to quitting drugs or alcohol. The first one is to do your research, to look into what are the uh, complications of suddenly stopping drug use or alcohol use, and is there a withdrawal syndrome associated with it. This is important because with things like alcohol, a person can potentially have a fatal reaction by suddenly ceasing. So it's important to know ahead of time should you be going on any special medications that can bridge you uh, in the short term through detox, eventually to be tapered. Uh, to ease the withdrawal itself. The same thing can be said about the opioids as well the, with opioid replacement therapy. So doing the research, finding out uh, online, doing your research, speaking to other people who have been through it, it can be very, very helpful. Um, the next thing to do is to decide on the location. Where are you going to be uh, if and when you choose to quit? And this can be at home, in the comfort of your own home, which is ideal, but not good if somebody, let's say, is elderly and has a lot of other medical problems going on. And in that situation, the best thing to do is to be in the hospital. In between these two options, however, is to go to a detox and or uh, a rehab facility. Now, detox is uh, generally are community uh, accessible for anybody. Uh, however, there's a lot of deterrence from this because of the cleanliness. Um, there needs to be, which is not safe to say all of them are, are dirty, but uh, in my experience a lot of people have had negative experiences there and that's not such a good thing over the long term. Uh, if a person has money or medical insurance then that is helpful to go into a detox that is covered um, but a, privately. But if there's a public detox you should do your research into it and ascertain if there's any medical, what kind of medical professionals are there, the cleanliness of it and what sort of uh, alternative uh, professionals are there to help ease this uh, transition for you. Um, so rehabs, some of them also provide detox services as part of it and so you need to decide, you know, like I said, the location as to where you are going to be during this process. The third thing is the most important to me and that is learning the lifestyle changes. So just quitting drugs or alcohol is not enough. Um, it usually takes a stress in a variable amount of time until the person is back to their old ways and using again. This is a very, very common thing. It is a tough thing trying to quit and have an enduring recovery. It is a very difficult thing. So the way to ensure a better likelihood of having an enduring good quality recovery is to learn the lifestyle changes. And this is basically learned in rehabs, but it is available online as well. Um, but being alone is one thing that I, I would say to refrain from. The pers uh, a person needs to be in touch with other people. Uh, addiction is an illness of isolation, whereas recovery is about being connected to other people. Uh, we can have group counseling, there can be 12 step groups, uh, peer, peer help groups, uh, volunteer work, recreational activities, all these things are being connected with other people. So that's just a part of it, but the other two parts of um, lifestyle changes is to have a, a plan of relapse prevention. So what this says is if I am experiencing cravings, what can I do to help ride it out or prevent it? And things like speaking to you, uh, your sponsor, which is part of 12-step, or it doesn't have to be 12-step, just ha speaking to somebody who knows what you're going through, who can help coach you through this. Uh, sobriety coach is another one. Um, so learning how to handle um, stresses in life, cravings in life, um, recognizing behaviors, avoiding what we call slippery people, the people who can induce a slip, a relapse. People, this is what I mean by people who you know are using and if you're bringing yourself into their um, environment that is, you are more likely to to slip. So that's why they're called slippery people, slippery places, not going to places. For example, if a person has a history of alcohol abuse, not to go to a bar, for example. Um, and slippery things. So uh, not looking at uh, the liquor bottles, for example, or your, your previous drug paraphernalia. It's better to have a clean slate on this situation. So those are just some of the um, lifestyle modifications that a person can employ. So the, my three tips again on quitting drugs is one, to do your research, to ask other people, to learn about withdrawal syndromes, to learn about how is the best way for you to go about this, whether it could be cold turkey or by tapering down 
or on opio uh, for example opioid replacement the next one is to decide where will you uh, quit uh, in over the short term acute detox process would it be at home uh, would it be in hospital would it be at a detox center or at a rehab and finally um, the most important part that in encourages a long-term recovery that's helpful and healthy is to engage in the lifestyle changes and this can involve a whole host of things most importantly relapse prevention there's also cognitive therapy to be aware of what uh, sort of potential triggers there are for me that can cause cravings and uh, to balance everything out with a little bit of fun and time with other people if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the comments box below